bioenergy is literally what helped us to develop. And this is because it's the only renewable energy which is always around and will always be around. So, I got an invitation to this conference about bioenergy in Europe. We're going to do a short coverage with our smart videos. And I must say, it's a pretty cool event because, you know, we all love bioenergy. We are here to organize the conference of Avium. It's one thing to have it as a principle as a natural part of market economy. But it's another thing when getting it into legislation. And a lot of people all over Europe, all over the world. We have more than 200 delegates. The perfect place to be here. If that's the perfect place where markets and policy meet. I got my pass here. For me, I mean, two reasons to be here. This is the hotspot for learning about energy policy in Europe. We really would like to avoid a kind of I look close in the future policies. So we want to have a, a, a clear and established uh, framework. We have organized a parallel workshop uh, on torrefaction with our members. It's a gift for the participants. Then you can see it here. It's EN Plus certified, A1. Pellets for eating. To increase the number of jobs, Europe has to be the first actor in the renewables. So I'm the line to get my beer. and to talk a bit with these people about the conference. So here I am with my glass of beer. It was fun. You know, that's how Brussels work. Politics. The most important thing is politics in Brussels and this uh, conference uh, really focuses politics. You basically push your arguments, your ideas, and you hope that the institutions are convinced by your arguments. Uh, networking. Networking is always the key in the conference. So I'm really happy to be here and we have perfect speakers. The key decision makers, the people you need to develop businesses. There are so many things I didn't know about bioenergy. That was a good uh, final point. Cheers. Thank you very much.